what's up boys this video will help you so much if you want to get better at duos and qualify for more duo events today's video will be another video on the viewer vod review series that i've been doing on this channel which i vod review a viewer in and see what they do wrong and let them know okay enjoy the video okay so we are going to watch the these people cryptics in 53rd accumulative in elite cup week one so they came super close to getting into the finals where you come top 40 for money so looking at their games there's two things going on it's mostly they get to end game they do pretty good but they can't really like close it out and do like good good if you know what i mean like there's eights there's seven there's six there's seven there's five five is pretty good but the others are like pretty medium which is really annoying and then there is these other games where they die before end game or early end game okay so we're gonna watch this game here where they come fifth okay so they land obviously land log jam Bruh. and they get a really good zone so i'm pretty sure at this point they hear this team up here fighting so they look to go engage which is really good because first of all they're obviously fighting so you can third party and clean up and second of all it's in a really good spot on the map like obviously it's dead side and it'll be a really good spot for next zone because there'll be no one there i mean it'll be easier to fight because there's no one there because it's dead side and also next zone is going to be a good position because you're really high up on dead side so if it rotates it's just going to be really easy it's just like a power position i really like how they take this fight you probably shouldn't have mind that because he could have easily gave them visual audio but I really like what they do here how instead of just running up in king like they do play cringe and just crouch walk over give them the audio and then jump them and kill them really quickly like in tournaments you should always be fighting like this like there's no need to do stuff that makes you look good like just be cringe like do everything you can to win the fight <laughs> I don't like how they left the hill here like even though it's edge it's still going to be a really good spot because number one obviously you can get way more surge if you sit up there and number two it's dead side so it's going to be fine next rotate and number three if you sit up here what tends to happen is so say you're sitting up here or up here all these people rotating in okay so most of the people that are going to rotate into you are, are going to be the people coming from up down here and coming up here because obviously these people up here most likely I'm gonna wrap all the way around and come up here like it isn't really a point they'll probably just stop up there but what happens is if these people all these people rotating up here before they get to you you're gonna shoot them right and then they're not gonna keep going towards you they're gonna like veer off or pause here and they're all gonna like pause there at a stop here and these people coming in they might stop here stop here and then what you notice is you're going to create an area around you where people aren't there there still might be people there but obviously there's going to be way less people because you're shooting them away and they're not going to keep running towards you so what you do when you do that is you create like an area like this where there's hardly any people and then next zone it's a really easy rotate for you because there's no one around you so even if you don't use surge and you're in a high spot like that you want to shoot people so you can make sure they like stay away from you and number four you just have a great view for your next rotate like you're way above everything so you can see where everyone is where all the builds are where all the hills are and everything for your next rotate but like anywhere up here like realistically is pretty good you know like it's all pretty good okay so for the zone i like how they went instantly but they definitely went the wrong way i think so what I would have done is genuinely in a situation like this, so we're here, I'd like go up so I can get into dead side and then kind of go along and then cut in. So you're going along dead side until it's easy to cut in and then get in. But here, that's probably not a good idea because of the hill, right? So what I'd probably do is go up here and then cut in here, about here. Because you need to get away from this congested area so you can get in easily so you need to get out of that and then get in because what happens if you go this way so you have this people and you go this way obviously what's going to happen is all these people 
they're gonna shoot you as you rotate and then you're gonna stop here and then you're dead well you're not dead but you're just gonna be in a really bad spot and you can't move so you need to get away from the people and then go in so there's no one stopping you from moving so they did what I said like not to do they go this way and they're next to all the people and they're gonna get shot bit lucky there with not being shot that much but it's all right but they get shot here from these people which was bound to happen and they're also getting shot by everyone else okay just inside now so now this they got stuck here it's not like a terrible spot because they are pretty central so now they're in some low down which is obviously bad spot where they just had to pick because they had to stop and they could have went like up here earlier and then cut in and like picked where to go up here like this spot's so much better they could have been up here really easily okay here i want to talk about something is you notice how like they're making a lot of like sound and noise and stuff like yeah it can it is good to look for kills because they're in a max man like i'll probably do this it's good for this but at this point when it's like nah you're not getting that you just need to be really quiet because what's going to happen is surges you see down there it's going to be active and there could be people around you that need surge so a thing i've seen that's really good is if you think people around you need surge and you definitely don't need surge like these people and there's no really good opportunities you just need to sit completely still like in a cone gathering information for next rotate just being completely still not making any sound and letting people f literally forget you exist because these people here they obviously see these people fighting so they know there's a team in here because they've been making sound and fighting people so they go for this fight like if they didn't make any sound it's a possibility they would have like had to fight this team instead if you know what i mean so they could have died because of this but they don't in the end but that's more like a good tip for like a way more stats game because something like this doesn't matter too much but maybe this this is this could be really dodgy because if people need surge and you're keying up like this and not paying attention to your back you could get run off them by someone that needs surge because they're looking for any opportunity to get damage right and i'd say they edit this like like way too quick like you can tell these people are like kind of ready like almost ready and they do uh, like almost like that's pretty dodgy like if someone's keying you for surge you want to hold off until the other team gets like too desperate to the point where they're just holding out the pickaxes trying to get in your box to get damage because there they kind of gave them like they didn't let them get desperate at all they just instantly edited and they were like more ready than they should be you know i would have probably liked them to go higher up here just pretty aids like being on that very edge like the hill's still elevating and they're on the edge so like ahead of them they can't even i don't think they can even be on that layer i probably want to be like i probably would have went like up here like above this team at least just here that's a lot better just because the next rotate is going to be pretty rough for them if it goes max but yeah now they're in a pretty good position to make this like in game pretty good because they got that refresh on half off so they're in a really good position to make this game good okay so first moving they just blob this like kind of early which is good this is a good layer right now there's good blobbing stopping and then probably blobbing again staggering make sure i hope they stay up here it's pretty good so far but you, here it gets a little bit dodgy this is fine right now but then they start going low gun on first moving which is a bit risky i've talked about this heaps don't take everything i say like 100 percent literally sometimes there is a good time to go low gun on first or second moving but the majority of the time you don't want to be down here you want to be like up here like one of these people at least and this is because on first and second moving that's like the highest density of players alive in a smaller spot right say next zone let's see where next zone goes so they do get pretty lucky of this zone but say next zone goes this way 
like through all these builds and then it goes up some layers and then here they have to go through people imagine how easy that rotate would be if you're this guy right here like or this guy here like any of these teams imagine how easy that would be like to go this way there's no one in front of you there's no builds and you can literally just run off and jump down instead of having to be this guy having to go through all these builds down here all these teams on the same layer and then going up this and then going through through and up some buildings like obviously way better i kind of like they've switched up their layering a bit here like they went a couple up a couple layers which is good i like to see that and they're going up some more it's probably because they do see this elevation but yeah it's good here i really really want to see them going up way more here like they were going up at a good speed but now they've kind of stopped and they're going straight even though ahead they can easily see a bunch of elevation and stuff in their way and yeah this is where it goes wrong so they like have good mats right like good mats good rotation good heals good ammo good weapons everything they want and all they need to do is go up players and stay front right now and not go for any risky kills but they go ahead of this team even though their priority should be to like go up or just claim ahead but they get in front of this team they have no like clue or audio cue or like anything to tell this team isn't ready for them because like if you think if you think about it what is there any reason if they weren't shooting or any making noise is there any reason they wouldn't be looking forward because they want to rotate forward like why would they be looking back and stuff like that unless they're shooting people obviously so if they jump down from here without hearing them shoot or anything they should be expecting them to be looking this way and be ready which is what happens and they drop down and boom they're already ready to shoot an error on them and they knock one out and then boom here's a solo clutch from here out so yeah that's kind of why they he did come fifth in this with like four more kills so he went crazy but they could have easily done even worse that game if he like didn't clutch and they could have done way better if he stayed alive i'd say the priority user were pretty bad for like going for the kill when he doesn't really need it when they could just keep going ahead and claim up so the main points of the video i'll just sum up right now in a quick 30 seconds just to let you guys remember or just write them down when you claim a high up position or like a power position you can shoot people that are rotating towards your way to create your own dead side for third zone you can rotate out to dead side and then cut in as an easy way to get into a good position you get a lot more power and freedom being higher up in the first couple moving zones of an end game but this is most of the time because don't forget that sometimes it's okay to use low ground in like an early couple moving zones like this is just like a general type of thing like most of the time and in game try not to go for a refresh from the front of people when they clearly haven't given any signal that they're distracted or fighting people because if they're not doing that then they're obviously looking forward because they want to rotate forward so they're just going to be ready to shoot you yo what's up boys thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video if you enjoyed this video and you think you learned a lot i think you would definitely learn a lot from this video here also any likes comments and subscriptions would be very appreciated on this video plus you should join the community discord in the link in the description of this video if you want to be involved in videos just like this and others or just to chat and ask me questions Okay, goodbye. Use code VUJ.